Good day everyone. So for today's video, I am going to discuss last chapter, chapter 9 entitled Parole. So we will discuss first what is the definition and history of parole. So parole comes from the French word parole referring to word as in giving one's word of honor or a promise. So it has come to mean an inmate's promise to conduct him or herself in a law-abiding manner and according to the certain rules in exchange for release. So ang parole po ay nanggaling sa French word na parole nang ibig sabihin po ay word of honor or pangako. So, dito po, nangangako po yung offender na in exchange sa kanyang kalayaan ay kailangan po niyang sundin ang mga limitations at conditions na ibibigay sa kanya ng korte. Okay? He will promise to abide the laws in our community in exchange for his or her release. Parole in the Philippines, as defined under the Board of Pardon and Parole Operational Manual, it refers to the conditional release of a prisoner from a correctional institution after he has served the minimum of his prison sentence. Pardon is granted by the Board of Pardon and Parole, only when the offender serve his minimum of sentence under the indeterminate, indeterminate sentence law. The offender will be temporarily released on conditions which he is at liberty or reject. So once the condition have been accepted, any violation thereof will result in the subsequent arrest and reincarceration of the offender to serve the unserved portion of his original sentence. So, pag sinabi nating parole, ito po ay ang pagpapalaya ng isang prisoner after niyang pagsilbihan ang minimum ng kanyang sentensya. So, papalayain siya under certain conditions. And, ang iba pa pong meaning ng parole is that ito po ay proseso na kung saan pinipili ang mga prisoner base sa estado ng pagre-rehabilitate sa loob ng kulungan. Or, kung nagpapakita man siya ng good conduct sa loob ng kulungan. So, it is necessary na dapat po, he is showing good behavior inside the prison. So, hindi po porket na pagsilbihan na niya yung kanyang minimum ng sentensya ay qualified na po kaagad sa parole. So, still, ibibase po nila base sa estado ng pagre-rehabilitate or yung pagpapakita ng magandang asal or kandak sa loob ng kulungan. So, ang mga napiling preso ay papalayain under supervision. So, habang pinagsisilbihan nila ang kanilang mga natitirang sentensya doon sa community, sila ay isinusupervise ng parole officer. Okay? So, I repeat, when we say parole, it is a conditional release of a prisoner from a correctional institution after he has served the minimum of his prison sentence. Sometimes, the term used in parole is, kung hindi man po serving the minimum of sentence, karamihan po ginagamit nila is, after he has served the portion or uh, the partial or the part of his sentence. Kung hindi man po ginamit yung minimum of his sentence. Okay? So, we will discuss who are the personalities behind the development of parole. So, first we will discuss Alexander Makonochi. 
So, Alexander Makonochi is the superintendent of the Penal Colony at Norfolk Island in Australia. He introduced the mark system wherein a prisoner is required to earn a number of marks based on proper labor and study in order to have a ticket for leave or conditional release which is similar to parole. So, ang dinevelop po ni Alexander Makonochi is the so-called Mark System. Mark System is a progressive humane system in which a prisoner is required to, un, uh, to earn a number of marks based on proper department, labor, and study in order to him entitle for ticket for leave or conditional release which is similar to parole. Ito po kasing mark system na Alexander Makonochi is that kailangan pong mag-earn ng marka bago ka po mabigyan ng tinatawag na ticket for leave wherein ikaw po ay makakalaya but then there are certain uh, limitations and conditions that you need to follow. So, so in this uh, mark system, Dito po sa part na ito, he developed a plan to prepare them for eventual return to society that involves three grades. So, ibig sabihin po, three grades po ang kailangan na i-undergo or ma-earn nung mga prisoner bago po sila makalaya. So, the first two consisted of promotions earned through good behavior labor and study. So, yung una pong grade at pangalawang grade po ay binabase po nila through good behavior, labor, and study. At ang pangatlo po dyan is the conditional liberty outside the prison while obeying the rules. Okay? Una is that, ang una po dyan na stage is uh, ikaw po ay magkakaroon po ng release in exchange for good behavior, labor, and study, and also yung pangatlo pong grade is conditional release, which is outside na po yan ng prison while you are still obeying the rules and regulation of the institution. So, a violation would return them to prison and starting all over again through the ranks of three grade process. So, once po nakapag-commit ka po ng violation ng mga rules, yung mga condition po ng parole ni Alexander Makonochi, ikaw po ay babalik sa loob ng kulungan at magbabak to zero ka ulit doon sa procedure para po magkaroon ka ng ticket for leave which is similar to parole. Okay, so take note that Alexander Makonochi is the father of parole and the father of modern penology. Next, we have Walter Crofton. He is the director of Irish prison in 1854. He introduced the Irish system that was modified from the Makonochi's Mark System. So, dito po guys, si Walter Crofton po, ang kanyang dinevelop is Irish System. Kay Alexander Makonochi po is Mark System. Pero po, itong Irish System ni Walter Crofton ay halos kaparehas lang po ng Mark System ni Makonochi. Kaso nga lang, meron lamang pong mga na-modify or mga binago. So, ito po yung mga binago or yung mga stages naman sa part ng Irish system ni Walter Crofton. So, una po dyan, solitary confinement for 9 months. So, sa loob ka lang po ng kulungan for a period of 9 months or sa iyong selda. And then, after that, assignment to public works in association with other prisoners. So, you will now have the chance to be associated with your co uh, prisoner. And then, pangatlo, work without supervision. Kahit na wala na pong nagbabantay sa'yo, pwede ka na pong payagan na magtrabaho doon sa loob ng kulungan. And then, pang-apat po, yan na po yung makakalaya ka na, but then, you are still under 
a certain limitations and conditions which is similar din lang po sa parole natin. Okay? So, next, the third one is Zebulon Brockway or Brockway Zebulon. So, he is the director of Elmira Reformatory in New York. So, take note lang po, additional uh, review lang po is Elmira Reformatory is the forerunner of modern penology because it it has all the elements of a modern uh, correction or modern penology. So, he introduced certain innovational programs like the following. So, ito po yung mga inintroduce at i-develop ni Zebulon Brockway in New York in Elmira Reformatory. Training school type, compulsory education of prisoners, casework methods, extensive use of parole, and indeterminate sentence. So, Zebulon Brockway in 1876, the New York State Reformatory at Elmira open with Z.R. Brockway as superintendent. So, Brockway introduced in Elmira a new institutional program for boys from 16 to 30 years of age. Okay? So, ito po guys, sa parol po kasi, pag sinabi po natin ito ay parol, okay, meron po tayong tinatawag na batas na nakasaad po dyan, which is the Act Number 4103, known as the Indeterminate Sentence Law. Okay? Pag sinabi po kasing indeterminate, okay, means hindi po fix or hindi sakto. Okay? Yung, yung bibigyan ka ng sentensya. Okay? Pag bibigyan ka ng sentensya po, meron pong minimum and maximum. Depende po sa rami ng aggravating or mitigating circumstance, circumstances doon po sa kaso mo. So, I repeat po ha, when we say indeterminate sentence, it means hindi po fix or hindi po sakto yung binigay na sentensya. So, meron po yan minimum or maximum. Depende po yan sa dami ng aggravating or mitigating circumstances ng kaso mo. Okay? Example po ay ang penalty ng kaso ng magnanakaw. Okay? For example, may minimum okay, na ayos or may minimum na 6 years. Okay? For example, may minimum na 6 years at maximum na 12 years. Okay? Ang tawag po doon ay indeterminate sentence. Sa parol po, okay, ano po ba ang importansya ng indeterminate sentence law? Ano po ba ang ginagampanan uh, ng indeterminate sentence law or ng Act 4103 sa parol? Di ba remember po ang definition po ng parol is a conditional release of a prisoner after serving the minimum of his sentence. Okay? Kaya po, dito po, dapat po may minimum and maximum po yung sentence or yung tinatawag po nating indeterminate sentence. Ibig sabihin, hindi po fix or sakto yung ibinigay na sentensya. So, the Board of Pardons and Parole created by virtue of Act number 4103 known as the indeterminate sentence law this is an agency under the department of justice so under po ito ng DOJ which is tasked to uplift and redeem valuable human resources to economic usefulness and prevent unnecessary and excessive deprivation of personal liberty by way of parole or through the executive clemency. Okay? So, ang Board of Pardon and Parole po ay nakreate po yan by virtue of the Indeterminate Sentence Law or the Act Number 4103. Okay? Included po dyan yung mga executive clemency. So, the Board undertakes the following. So, number one, looks into physical, mental, and moral records of prisoner who are eligible for parole or any form of executive clemency 
and determines the proper time of release of such prisoner on parole. Okay, ito pong board natin, they need to look for physical, mental, and moral records of the prisoner na nag a po for parole. Okay, kung sila po ba ay eligible or qualified na mag-grant ng parole at sila din po ang nag -e evaluate kung ano po yung proper time na pwede na pong makalaya yung isang prisoner doon sa parole. Kasi nga, diba, they need to serve first the minimum of their sentence. Another is to assist in the full rehabilitation of individuals on parole of those under conditional pardon and with parole conditions by way of parole supervision. So, to make it short, they are the one who will supervise the rehabilitation of the individuals granted parole and executive clemency, such as conditional pardon. And another is recommends to the President of the Philippines the grant of any ex any form of executive clemency to the prisoners other than those entitled to parole. So, di ba, remember po, bago po nag-grant or nagbibigyan ng executive clemency, ang ating mahal na Pangulo, kailangan po muna merong recommendation ng Board of Pardon and Parole. Okay? So, ano po ba ang composition ng Board of Pardon and Parole? So, Uh, ang chairman po ng Board of Pardon and Parole is the Secretary of Justice. So, Secretary of Department of Justice is the ex-official chairman of the Board of Pardon and Parole. So, pag sinabi po kasi nating ex-official is by virtue of one's position. So, dahil sa position mo or sa status mo, ay automatic kang nagiging pinuno or miyembro ng isang committee. Okay? For example po is yung secretary of DILG. He is the ex-officio of NAPULCOM. So, ganun din po dito sa Board of Pardon and Parole. So, dahil ikaw po ay Secretary of Justice, ikaw po ay automatikong chairman ng Board of Pardon and Parole. So, bukod po kay chairman, meron pa pong anim na kasama at ito po ay binubuo ng probation administrator ng PPA or ng parole and probation administrator. Okay, ex officio din po siya. So that is because of by virtue of his position or status. Okay? Members po dapat po meron pong isang sociologist, meron pong isang clergyman, clergyman or tinatawag nating pare or religious leader. Isa pong educator, isa pong psychiatrist, at isa pong person qualified for the work by training or experience, and a member of a Philippine bar. Okay? At kailangan po doon sa lahat ng nabanggit na yan, isa po sa kanila ay babae. Okay. So, rule 2.1. We will discuss eligibility for review of a parole case. An inmate case may be eligible for review by the board provided. Okay, so ito na po yung mga eligible or yung mga qualified po mag-apply for parole. So, sino-sino nga ba? Okay, number one, inmate is serving an indeterminate sentence, the maximum period of which exists one year. Year. So, ibig sabihin po, dapat po ang sentensya ng offender ay indeterminate sentence na meron pong maximum na one year pataas. So, ibig sabihin nga po, pag sinabing indeterminate sentence, meron po yung minimum and maximum. Okay? Inmate has served the minimum period of the indeterminate sentence. Remember po yung, yung mismo pong definition ng parole is that Uh, this is a conditional release of a prisoner from confinement after he has served the minimum 
of his indeterminate sentence. Okay? Yan po ay isang qualification na serve po, sa, uh, na serve po dapat niya ang kanyang minimum. Okay? In mis conviction is final and executory. So, ibig sabihin po, talaga pong uh, final na yung judgment or yung hatol doon sa kaso nung prisoner na yon. In case the inmate has one or more co-accused who had been convicted, the director or warden concerned shall forward their prison record and carpetas or jackets at the same time. Okay? Inmate has no pending criminal case. So, take note, wala pong pending na kaso yung inmate pag po siya ay nag apply for parole. Inmate is serving in the National Penitentiary unless the confinement of said inmate is in a municipal, city, district, provincial jail is justified. So, dapat po, siya po ay nagsaserve ng kanyang sentence sa National Penitentiary or National Prison. Unless po siya po nakulong sa mga municipal jail, district jail, provincial jail, kung yun po ay mga less than 3 years. Okay? 3 years and below yung kanilang sentence. Kasi po pwede po nilang iserve na po yung kanilang sentence sa mga district jails or provincial jails, basta po less than 3 years ang kanilang sentence siya. So, yun po yung mga qualifications kanina. So, ngayon naman po, sino naman po yung mga prisoners na disqualified for parole? So, that is under section 2 of Act number 4103. So, generally po, hindi po maaaring bigyan ng parole ang mga may sentence or pagkakakulong ng isang taon pababa. Kasi nga, di ba, Sinabi po kanina ng sentensya po ay ang maximum po ay one year and above. Okay? So, generally, hindi po maaaring bigyan ng parol ang may mga sentensyang pagkakulong ng isang taon pababa at yung may mga fixed penalty. Ibig sabihin po, yung penalty po nila ay walang minimum or maximum term. O term kagaya po ng life imprisonment at death penalty. Ang life imprisonment po at death penalty po ay wala pong minimum and maximum. Okay? Ibig sabihin po kasi ng life imprisonment at death penalty po ay mga determinate sentence. Ibig sabihin po ay fix ang kanilang mga sentensya. So, ito po yung mga disqualified na mag-apply for parole. Those persons convicted of reclusion or punished with reclusion perpetua. Okay? Those convicted of, yan na po yung mga national, uh, I mean, the so-called um, national offenses, kagaya po ng mga treason, conspiracy, okay? Proposal to commit treason, okay? Rebellion, sedition, espionage, piracy, Okay? And kasali po dyan yung mga habitual delinquents. Okay? Ano po ba yung mga habitual delinquents na tinatawag po natin? Ang habitual delinquents po kasi is yung mga person na within 10 years ay nag-commit po ng mga the same na crimes against po doon sa mga crimes ng pretzel, kagaya po ng pag letter F. Pretzel po is F falsification. Uh, R is robbery, E is estafa, T is theft, um, S is serious physical injury, and uh, slight or less serious physical injury. Yun po yung fretzel. Within 10 years po, after the last conviction po, nag-commit po ulit ng the same na crimes. Yun po yung mga tinatawag natin na habitual delinquents. Okay? They are also disqualified from uh, applying for uh, parole. Okay? Those who escape from confinement, yung mga escapees po, yung mga nag evade or yung mga tumatakas sa kanilang mga sentensya. And also, yun na pong mga nag-grant ng pardon. Okay? Once granted ng pardon, kasi nga nag-violate na sila ng mga terms and conditions. So, possible po, baka pag once nag-grant na naman sila ng parole, baka na naman mag-violate na naman ng 
ng mga conditions. Kaya po, disqualified na din po sila for applying. Those whose maximum term of imprisonment does not exceed one year or are with a definite sentence. Yan nga po yung mga uh, um, life imprisonment, death penalty, yung mga definite ang, ang imprisonment or determinate. Okay. Those suffering from any mental disorder as certified by the psychiatric report of the BUCOR or National Center for Mental Health. Those conviction is on appeal. Okay. Bawal po yung mga umapila ng kaso. Kasi dapat po, di ba, kagaya ng sinabi po kanina, dapat po final and executory ang kanilang case. Those who have pending criminal case for an offense committed while serving sentence. Okay? Those convicted of offense punished with reclusion perpetua or whose those were reduced to reclusion perpetua by reason of Republic Act 9346. Republic Act 9346 po kasi is uh, prohibition of imposition of death penalty in the Philippines. Pinagbabawal na po yung pag-impose ng death penalty. Kaya nga po yung lahat ng may mga death penalty po, rinidus na po to reclusion perpetua. Disqualified pa rin po sila kasi po ang original na, na penalty pa rin po nila is death penalty. Okay? Ang Act Number 9346 po ay inamend nila ang Act Number 7659 which is the death Uh, imposition of death penalty to heinous crimes. Heinous crimes po, yan na po yung mga piracy, qualified piracy, okay, and so on. Okay? And those convicted of violation of uh, laws on terrorism, plunder, and transnational crimes. And pakinclude po dyan yung mga nag-violate po sa mga election laws. Okay? Bawal din po yun na mag ng, or mag-apply for parole. Okay? Okay, so let's move on now to definition of terms. So first, we have board. Board refers to the board of pardons and parole. Director refers to the director of BUCOR. So ang head po ng mga BUCOR or ng head ng BUCOR po mismo ay, ang tawag po sa kanila ay director. Okay. Penal superintendent naman po ang mga namumuno or officer in charge sa New Believed Prison, CIW, and other prison and penal farms under Bureau of Correction. Kagaya na lang po ng mga sablayan, uh, penal colony, Iwahig, Davao, Leyte Regional, okay? CIW, yan po. Ang, ang officer in charge po dyan, or mga namumuno po dyan, ay penal superintendent. Okay, sa mga prison po yan. Pero pag sinabing warden, officer in charge po sa mga jails, kagaya po ng provincial, city, municipal, or district jail. So, ulitin ko po ah, penal superintendent po sa mga national penitentiary. Okay, kagaya po ng New Bilibid, CIW, uh, Sablayan, Davao, Iwahig, okay, the, uh, Leyte, Regional, and others, okay, and pag-warden po sa mga jail po yan, kagaya po ng provincial, city, municipal, and district jail, okay. So, next, we have carpeta and prison record, okay. Ano po bang pagkakayaba ng dalawang yan, okay? When we say carpeta, it refers to the institutional record of an inmate which consists of his mitimus or commitment order. Okay? So, pag sinabi po kasing commitment order, okay, so it is a written order of the court or any other competent authority consigning the offender to a jail or prison for confinement. So, ibig sabihin po yung commitment order po na yan, yung dokumento na kung saan magpapatunay na ikinukumit mo o ikinukulong mo yung isang tao sa loob ng kulungan for confinement. Okay? This is issued by the court after conviction. Aside po sa mitimus or commitment order po ay prosecutor's information and decision of the trial court and the appellate court, if any. 
Certificate of non-appeal pag hindi na po umapila ng kaso and Certificate of detention and other pertinent documents of the case. So, yun po rin na naman ng karpeta. Pero po, pag sinabing prison record po, it refers to information concerning an inmate's personal circumstances. Tagaya po ng ano po yung nakumit na crime. Okay? Ano po yung sentensya? Ano po yung criminal case number niya dun sa trial and appellate court? Okay? Date he commenced serving. So, ibig sabihin, ano po yung date or kailan po yung date kung kailan po nag-start siyang nag-serve ng sentence? And the date he was received for confinement? The place of confinement? The date of expiration of sentence? Okay, kung kailan po matatapos yung sentensya niya. At saka po yung number ng mga previous conviction niya kung meron man po. Okay? And his behavior or conduct while in prison. So, mas marami po mga nilalaman yung prison record kaysa sa karpeta. Okay? So, petitioner refers to a prisoner who applies for the grant of executive clemency or parole. Petitioner po ang tawag sa kanila. Kahit po sa probation, no, ang tawag po sa nag-apply for probation is petitioner. Okay. Paroli po kapag po once po na-release na yung tao sa confinement na siya po ay granted na ng parol. Paroli ang tawag. Release document refers to the conditional pardon, absolute pardon issued by the President of the Philippines to a prisoner or to the discharge on parole issued by the board. Okay? Release document po ang ibibigay ng BPP or ng ating mahal na Pangulo kapag po ikaw po ay granted na ng uh, absolute or conditional pardon or parole. So next, we will move on to parole supervision. So under section 27, Entitled Parole Supervision. So, ngayon, di ba nga, granted ka na ng parole. So, what will happen next? Siyempre, you will undergo supervision. So, after release from confinement, a client shall be placed under the supervision of a probation and parole officer so that the former may be guided and assisted towards rehabilitation. So, ikaw po ay isusupervise ng isang parole or ng isang probation officer para mag-guide ka po sa pagre-rehabilitate mo habang ikaw po ay nasa community. Okay. The period of supervision shall extend up to the expiration of the maximum sentence which should appear in the release document subject to the provisions of Section 6 of Act No. 4103 with respect to the early grant of final release and discharge. So, ito po ah, ang pagsusupervise po sa isang paroli po ay mag-extend po hanggang matapos niya yung kanyang maximum ng sentence. ba diba, kanina yung example natin is 6 years to 12 years. So, dapat po, for example, di ba, na-serve na niya yung 6 years, na na siya. So, ibig sabihin yung remaining ng kanyang sentence na sinaserve niya sa community, hanggang matapos po niya yung kanyang maximum sentence, siya po ay under supervision ng parole or ng probation officer. Okay? Hanggat sa mabigyan ka po ng final release and discharge. Next, Section 28. Form of release document. So, the form of release document shall be prescribed by the board and shall contain the latest photograph and right thumbprint of the prisoner. So, yung release document po, dapat po meron ka pong pinaka-latest na picture at ng right thumbprint mo. Okay? Section 29, Transmittal of Release Document. The board shall send a copy of release document to the prisoner named therein 
through the director of corrections or warden of the jail where he is confined, who shall send a certification of the actual date of release of prisoner to the probation and parole officer. So, pagka po nabigyan ka na po ng release document, itatransmit po yan kay director of correction or sa jail warden para po ibigay po niya yung certification yung actual po na uh, pinaka uh, final release mo at kung kailan po matatapos yung isa-serve mong sentence sa mga probation or parole officer. Section 30, Initial Report. So, within the period prescribed in his release document, the prisoner shall, shall present himself to the probation and parole officer is specified in the release in the document or in the release document for supervision. Okay? Doon po kasi sa release document mo nandoon po yung date kung kailan ka po magre-report magre sa parole officer mo. Okay? So within 45 days from the date of release from prison or jail Parolee or pardonee concern still fails to report, the probation and parole officer shall inform the board of such failure for appropriate action. So, ibig sabihin po niyan, kung within 45 days po, nakalaya ka na, di ba? Nakalaya ka na, then within 45 days po, hindi ka pa rin nagre-report doon sa parole officer mo. Kailangan pong gumawa ni parole officer ng report na isasubmit niya sa board of pardon and parole na ikaw ay nag-failed na mag-report sa kanya at bibigyan po yun ng appropriate action kung ano man po yung sanction mo doon. Section 31, Arrival Report The probation and parole officer concerned shall inform the board through the technical service Parole and Probation Administration, the date the client reported for supervision not later than 15 working days therefrom. So, for example, nag-report ka naman na kay, uh, kay parole officer mo, okay? So, with uh, not later than 15 days, kailangan pong gumawa ng report na ikaw po ay nag, uh, nag-present na sa kanya at isasubmit po niya yan sa Board of Pardon and Parole through Technical Service. Section 32, Mandatory Conditions of Supervision. It shall be mandatory for a client to comply with the terms and conditions appearing in the release document. So, ibig sabihin po niya, nandoon na po sa release document yung mga condition na kailangan mong Sundin. So, ibig sabihin, mandatory ka po or required ka pong sundin lahat ng mga terms and condition na nakasaad po doon sa release document mo. Section 33, Review and Modification of Condition. The board, upon the recommendation of the probation and parole officer, revise or modify the terms and condition appearing in the release document. Okay? So, ibig sabihin po niyan, meron pong pagkakataon na baguhin or imomodify po yung mga nakalagay na terms and condition po sa release document. Basta po, meron pong recommendation ng Board of Pardon and parole. Okay. Or upon the recommendation of the parole officer doon po sa board. Section 34, Transfer of Residence. A client may not transfer from the place of residence designated in his release document without the prior written approval of the regional director subject to the confirmation. So, Ibig sabihin po niyan, for example, gusto mong lumipat ng matitirahan or ng bahay. Okay? So, bago ka po mag-transfer or lumipat, kailangan po muna na merong pong approval ang regional director. Okay? Na ikaw po ay confirm na pwede pong lumipat ng residence. 
Section 35, how about outside travel? So, a chief probation and parole officer may authorize a client to travel outside his area of operational jurisdiction for a period of not more than 30 days. A travel for more than 30 days shall be approved by the regional director. Kung for example, pupunta ka po sa ibang probinsya, okay, or magta-travel ka sa iba pong place, okay, kailangan po within 30 days lamang po. Pero pag umabot po yan ng more than 30 days, kailangan po mo ng aprobahan yan ng regional director. How about naman po travel abroad or work abroad? Okay. Any parolee or pardonee under active supervision or surveillance who has no pending criminal case in any court may apply for overseas work or travel abroad. However, such application for travel abroad shall be approved by the administrator and confirm by the board. So, take note po, pag po nag-apply po ng trabaho sa abroad, yung pong parolee or pardoni, okay, pwede po yan. Basta po meron pong approval ng administrator at dapat po i-confirm ng board of pardon and parole yung travel abroad mo. Okay? Section 37, Death of Client. Paano po pag namatay yung pardoni or yung parolee? Okay. If a client dies during supervision, the probation and parole officer shall immediately transmit a certified true copy of the client's death certificate to the board recommending the closing of the case. However, in the, absent of, in the absence of death certificate, an affidavit narrating the circumstances of the fact of death from the barangay chairman or any authorized officer or any immediate relative where the client resided shall suffice. So, pag po namatay yung client habang siya po ay nasa active supervision ng parole or ng pardon, okay? kailangan pong magsumite ng parole officer ng certified true copy ng death certificate certificate ng client. Pero po, in the absence of death certificate, pwede pong yung narration okay, nung barangay chairman kung saan po siya nakatira or yung kanyang mga immediate relative. Okay, na confirm nila, pinapatutuhanan nila na talagang namatay na yung taong yun. Okay? So, yun po yung parole supervision. And then, the last part naman na po is infraction or violation of the terms and condition of the release documents. Ano po ang mangyayari kung yung parolee or yung pardonee ay nakavilate ng mga terms and condition na nakasaad po sa kanilang release document? Okay? Section 38, Progress Report. So, when a parolee or pardonee commits another offense during the period of his parole surveillance and the case filed against him has not yet been, has not yet been decided by the court, a progress report should be submitted by the probation and parole officer to the board. So, ibig sabihin po niyan, kapag po under active surveillance po or active, active supervision po yung client, at nag-commit po siya ng panibagong kaso at undergoing trial pa lang po siya, wala pa pong decision ng court, mag-sasubmit po si probation and parole officer ng progress report sa Board of Pardon and Parole. Section 39, Report of Parole Infraction or Violation. So, ito na po yan. Any violation of the terms and conditions appearing in his release document or any other serious deviation or non-observance of the obligation set forth in the parole supervision program shall be immediately reported by his probation and parole officer to the board. The report shall be called 
infraction report when the client has been subsequently convicted of another crime. Okay? So, ibig sabihin po dyan, kapag po nag-commit ng another crime, yung client habang siya po ay nasa parole supervision, magsusumiti po ng infraction report si probation and parole officer sa board of pardon and parole. Okay. And number 40, or section 40, arrest of client. So, upon receipt of the infraction report, the board may order the arrest or recommitment of the client. So, ibig sabihin po, you will be re-arrested and re-incarcerated. Makukulong ka po ulit. Babalik ka po ulit sa loob ng kulungan once they receive the or they receive the infraction report. Pwede na po silang mag-order na ikaw ay arestuhin at ikulong ulit. Okay? Section 41, effect of recommitment of client. Okay? The client who is recommitted, ibig sabihin po nakulong ulit to the prison by the board shall be made to serve the remaining unexpired portion of the maximum sentence for which he was originally committed to prison. Lagot ka dyan. Okay? Bakit? Kasi di ba, for example, naserve mo na yung 6 years and then nag-grant ka ng parole. So, 6 years to 12 years. Okay? Ang nangyari dyan, nung pang 10th year mo na nagsuserve ng sentence mo sa community, nag-commit ka ulit ng another crime, di sana 2 years na lang yung natitira para ma-terminate na yung parole uh, program mo. So, kaya nag-recommit ka ng crime, na-recommit ka din sa loob ng kulungan, ibig sabihin po, isa-serve mo yung remaining unexpired portion of the maximum sentence for which he was originally committed to prison. So, ibig sabihin, 6 years to 12 years na naman yung isa-serve mo. mag start ka dun sa pang 6 year mo. Kasi yun yung na-serve mo palang dati bago ka mabigyan ng parole. So, yun lang po ang mahirap dito, di ba? Kasi nga, nabigyan ka na ng second chance, makalaya, makasama mo yung family mo, okay, you just need to follow the rules and the conditions in your release document. But then again, you committed another crime. Ang mangyayari ng effect dyan, ang effect po nyan is, isa-serve mo yung remaining portion or yung remaining unexpired portion ng sentence mo or yung original sentence mo. Okay? Next, section 42, cancellation of pardon and parole. So, the board may recommend the cancellation of pardon or cancel the grant of parole of client if it finds that material information given by the said client of the board either before or after release was false or incomplete or that the client had willfully or maliciously concealed material information from the board. Okay, so pwede pong makancel ang grant ng pardon sa'yo or parole pag po nagkaroon ka ng mga false or mga incomplete o talagang intention mong i-conceal or itago yung mga information na yon sa board. ba diba kasi kailangan mong mag-report doon sa parole officer mo. But then, you maliciously concealed or hide material information. Okay? Pwede po nilang ikansila yung pardon or yung parole program mo. Kasi that is uh, dishonesty sa uh, relationship mo doon sa board of pardon and parole, especially to your parole officer. Okay. 43. Review of case of recommitted parolee. So, the board may consider a case of recommitted parolee for the grant of new parole after the latter shall have served one-fourth of the unserved portion of his maximum sentence. So, ngayon po, 
Pwede ka po ulit mag-apply for parole. Pwede po nila i-consider. Pwede i-consider ha, but not to the extent na qualified ka po kaagad. Hindi po. Re-reconsider lang po nila kung pwede ka po mag-run ulit ng panibagong parole. Basta po nakaserve ka po ng one-fourth doon sa unexpired portion ng original maximum sentence mo. Okay. Termination of parole and conditional pardon supervision. Kailan nga ba matuterminate or matatapos yung parole and conditional pardon supervision? Okay. Section 44, Certificate of Final Release and Discharge. After the expiration of the maximum sentence of a client, the board shall upon the recommendation of the of the chief probation and parole officer that the client has substantially compiled or complied with all the conditions of the parole or pardon shall issue a certificate of final release and discharge to a parolee or pardonee. However, even before the expiration of maximum sentence and upon the recommendation of the chief probation and parole officer, the board may issue a certificate of final discharge to a parole and pardonee pursuant to provision of Section 6 of Article 4103 as amended. Okay? So, ibig sabihin po niyan, pagka natapos mo na po yung pinaka-maximum na sentence mo, na-serve mo na po yun sa community, magbibigay na po ng final release and discharge. Okay? The clearances from the police, court, prosecutor, and barangay official shall be attached to the summary report. Okay? Section 45, Effect of Certificate of Final Release and Discharge. So, ngayon po, pagka na-issue na po yung Certificate of Final Release and Discharge, the parole and pardonee shall be finally released and discharged from the conditions appearing in the release document. However, the accessory penalties of the law, which have not been expressly remitted therein, shall subsist. So, still po ang effect po niyan, okay, mawawala din po yung mga effect po ng conditions and terms po doon sa release documents mo. And lastly, section 46, transmittal of certificate of final discharge and, a uh, final release and discharge. So, ngayon po, the board shall forward a certified true copy of certificate of final release and discharge to the court who sentenced and released the client. The probation and parole officer who has supervision over him, the client, the Bureau of Correction, the National Bureau of Investigation, the Philippine National Police, and Office of the President. So, lahat po ng certified true copy ng Certificate of Final Release and Discharge nung pardoni or nung parole na yon, bibigyan po lahat ng kopya yung court na nag-sentence sa kanya, yung probation officer or parole officer na nag-supervise sa kanya, ganun din po yung BUCOR, NBI, PNP at Office of the President nang sa ganun po, malaman po nila yung status ng tao na siya po ay tapos na po sa kanyang parole or pardon program. Okay? So, yun po yung flow uh, pra, or yung process po ng supervision ng parol, uh, par, uh, paroli at ganun din po yung pagka nagkaroon po ng infraction or violation po yung paroli natin. So, hanggang doon po yung topic natin for the entire semester. So, that's all for today. So, thank you and have a good day. I know that you are now very happy kasi po tapos na po natin yung ating uh, course or ating subject. So, thank you and have a good day.